Come on, Rook. Come on. You can make it. Barely stepped on the juryman's road with us. Can't see another soul off to the void so soon. No. No! I'll pour one out to the blackest sea for you, Rook. What the? Crixus ghost? What kind of cruelty is this? This some starborn trick? Come to mock me before you twist the blade? Multiple universes? You're a visitor jumping through the gates of space and time? We meet minds there. Never tell you the cost, do they? Well, ghost from the other side. I'll keep what you said rolling around in my head for a spell. But for now, wouldn't mind if you gave me a bit. I just lost a friend. time, but I need to talk with you later.
I don't think I could take much more of his nonsense. No, now is the best time. Hey, um, when you're not busy, let's chat. exist, or how does the unity truly work? It is not a fixed place in space-time. You will be... well, you'll have more like understanding when you get there. said it first. See you on the other side. I know now isn't the best time, but I need to talk with you later. I am... The search draws to a close. The way to the unity opens.
You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. A thought occurs. Can anyone ever truly experience reality outside of oneself? All of time and space filters through a singular perspective. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? That's good. You will need that clarity for what comes next. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You can turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship. In your universe, you could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the unity, right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time.
starship. We're detecting... Well, it's what we're not detecting that's an issue. What's powering that thing? You know what? Just hold still while we do the contraband check. Excuse me, this is a private... Wait. There's something familiar about you. Vasco, identify. Scanning. Cross-referencing known employee records of our affiliated organizations. Please remain still. This appears to be the miner from Argos Extractors. Lost as we were carrying the artifact from Vectera. Current whereabouts previously unknown. I see. Vasco already delivered the artifact. So, why are you showing up now? You're a... I see. So some of our theories about the artifacts are correct. You're taking their word for it? What if this person's just delusional? Breathe in too many gases in that mining operation. Why don't we hear him out? We know next to nothing. We have everything to gain if he's telling the truth. All right, let's hear it. So... That's what we're looking for. The pieces to an armillary. A path to the center of a multiverse. This is either the truth, or the most elaborate practical joke I've ever witnessed. I think we're past the point of doubting, Walter. In any event, we'll be able to see for ourselves. We know where most of the artifacts are now, and presumably how we get them. And if what you've told us about the Starborn is to be believed, we'll need all the help we can get. 
I want you to check with Vladimir on the eye. Cross-reference what you've told us with what he's picking up on the scans. You track down the artifacts the eye finds, while we gather the others. And we are grateful for that, Starborn. Now, let's get those artifacts. Well, it is customary to say, welcome home. That 